The word for today, God forgives and restores. There's bad news and there's good news. The bad news is, when David tried to hide his sin, God exposed it to the nation. The good news is, when he repented of his sin, God forgave him and expunged his record. And what God did for David, he will do for you. All you have to do is get down on your knees and pray. Cleanse me from my sin. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Psalm 51, 2 and 10. If you want to know how God responds to such a prayer, here's what he said to Solomon, David's son. If you walk before me as your father David walked, in integrity of heart and in uprightness, to do according to all that I have commanded you, and if you keep my statutes and my judgments, then I will establish the throne of your kingdom over Israel forever, as I promised David your father, saying, you shall not fail to have a man on the throne of Israel. 1 Kings 9, 4-5 to Today you may feel that because of your sin, you are beyond hope and redemption, and that you have forfeited the opportunity to be useful to God and to fulfill your destiny. Don't believe it. You can recover. You can be restored. You can be forgiven. You can regain your integrity. You can be healed and become whole again. You can say, there is a fountain filled with blood, drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains. The word for today is, God will forgive and restore you. All you have to do is ask him.